Hey guys, me again. Um, gonna do another little video of uh, a little upgrade I did to my truck. Um, if you're familiar with me, I've been doing this slowly, step by step. The reason I'm making these videos is to help people out. Uh, when I was doing all the deletes, I did the EGR DPF, EGR cooler, ripped that whole thing out. Um, uh, PCV reroute all that stuff and I ran into some issues I ran into quite a few issues and um, there wasn't a lot of things on YouTube to help me out so I'm making these videos to help some other people out and you know if I can help you out I will and uh, what this is about base these short little videos is um, my experience with it my problems and the way I fixed it so anyway uh, just doing another little video um, and I'm gonna try filming this in a different way uh that way you know my i'm not a big youtube person i don't do this a lot so what i do is take these videos off my phone upload them straight to youtube picture quality sucks on the last two videos i understand so i'm going to try it this way see if it makes any difference what we're talking about today is the pc or i'm sorry the resonator delete i did uh it cost me two bucks you could pick this part up from lowe's all it is is a two inch P PVC cap with the uh, the hose clamp. You can find it in the plumbing section. And a lot of people do it because of the, it, they say it makes the whistle of the turbo sound louder. It does very, very little though. Um, you can hear a difference, but it's a very little difference. But what I wanna talk about in my experience with this is with all if you watch my other video um it's called uh my experience with efi life and you'll see that i wasn't too happy with efi life and i explain why i go into detail i don't know and uh anyway this helped out a shitload my turbo spools way quicker power on set way quicker it's just um all around a lot better than than when I had the resonator on it. Um, you can hear the turbo better, and like I said, just the turbo spools a lot quicker, and that's that. That's my experience, that's the extent of it. Um, all you need to do, uh, you have on your resonator, it's a big box, 6.6 .6 liter, it says on it. You have a hose clamp connecting to this, um, this part right here. Eight millimeter socket, pull it off, and then there's a hex head. There's a hex bolt that goes down like this over here, and uh, you take that off, boom, pop it off, pop that on, you're done. Uh, if you guys are wondering about these wires, long story short, a, a mouse got in. I live, I have uh, five acres out here. I live in the country, per se, if you want to say that, and a little fucking field mouse got in here. Either that or a squirrel, I'm not sure, because I got some trees behind my house, but got in here um ate my wires and i was popping some weird ass codes man i went to go to work uh started the truck and it started being at me flashing and put it through my truck into limp mode and uh it freaked me out because it believe it or not it was the day after i did this delete the morning after so i thought it had to do with this i got my afi live scanner out it said uh it, the code it popped was a p0090 and uh pop my hood open there's a big old nest right here these wires were gone so had to call my boss he didn't believe me he was cracking up i told him a uh squirrel got in my truck and ate some wires and i couldn't make it into work he was laughing his ass off uh, but what i did was um you know what i'll actually make another video on that because that that took a while and took a lot of shit i went to gm for this little harness right here they they didn't know what I was talking about. They thought it came off a goddamn spaceship. They they were just dumbasses about it to say the least. And then they tried selling me the whole harness. Not even this part that comes up and goes to the wires inside of the main wire harness. They were trying to sell me the other part that wraps around and goes to I guess the fuel rail sensor. I think it's called. And they were trying to charge me two hundred bucks for it when it wasn't even the right part. And all I needed it was a little. Uh, you can't see it again i'll make a, another video on this because and show, explain to you how i i had to rebuild the whole the whole connector part 
and that was a pain in the ass i'll tell you how i did that on the other video but yeah that was a fun experience anyway another thing i wanted to show you was in my prior video i talked about how my dsp5 switch the prongs that plug into your ecm broke off on me in the ecm not fun you can check out that video it, it it's just been a fiasco with the switch so i found these from bt diesel works and they're pigtails and that's what broke off in the ecm uh I don't know if I get it to focus in the ECM. And I had to drill the ECM harness out. Talk about nerve wracking, man. Oh my God. So I bought these and what I'm gonna do is run it through the firewall, splice it to this. I'll, I'll cut it shorter, of course. But what I wanted to say about this is, so I first went on and I, I explained it to you on the other video, EFI Live video. These switches are about 40 some bucks. So I found these on BT Diesel and they were seven bucks a piece. It's like, hell yeah, I'll buy two of them. You know, I needed two, obviously, as you can see, I needed two. So I bought two, uh, you know, it should have came out because they weren't exactly 17 bucks, 17 is changed. So it came out to like 16 bucks, so not bad. Hell yeah, a lot cheaper than this switch for that's 40 some bucks. Here's where it gets you. I added shipping into it. These, long story short, these two little prongs cost me 32 bucks. And so if I could do it over again, I'd just buy the switch. I mean, that's all there is to it, so. Uh, once I get the switch installed, it's Thursday afternoon right now. Uh, I'm hoping to do it tomorrow night, which is Friday night or Saturday morning. Once I get it uh, in, I'm gonna, and if it works this time, uh, take for a cruise and and finally see how the idaho rob tunes feel and uh once that happens i'm gonna do another update another video and that'll be about it for performance on my truck then i'm gonna go into um uh leveling kit my plans with this truck is just a, a level kit uh ranch hands all around headache rack and that's about it so you know maybe and maybe black out the lights uh, of course put some some um, wheels on it with the tires and all that good stuff so i'll keep making videos of this but like i said th th these videos i was making to this point was just about the uh the problems i've ran into and what i'm doing so i'm i'm hoping it's helping some some of you guys and i thank you guys for watching and you know if if i can help someone don't don't feel afraid to ask I'll, i will try my best to help you out and if I need to make another video and, you know, about how exactly I did something you're having a problem with, I will. Just don't be afraid to ask, guys. And, again, thanks for, I know the picture quality sucks. Like I said, I'm not a big YouTube person. I don't, I don't film every aspect of my life and upload it. So I don't have a fancy camera. I do this straight off my phone, upload it to YouTube. So, uh sorry about that hopefully this video is a little better a little bigger i'm not sure how it's going to work out but we'll find out so thanks guys and have a good one